Okay, welcome. So in a uh, stunning vote, Britain votes to leave the European Union. Now, according to the New York Times, Prime Minister David Cameron, who led the campaign to remain in the bloc, announced that he planned to step down. He said that the country deserved a leader committed to carrying out the will of the people. And uh, right now, the British pound and stock prices are plummeting. The, uh, the Leave campaign won by 52% to 48% of the vote. Uh, Nigel Farage, the leader of the UK Independence Party, who is one of the primary forces behind the push for a referendum to leave the European Union, told supporters, Dare to dream that the dawn is breaking on an independent United Kingdom. Now, a majority of Scottish people voted to stay in the European Union, and this created immediate pressure for another referendum on the independence from Britain for Scotland. So Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, said it would be democratically unacceptable for Scotland to be pushed out of the European Union when, when a majority of Scots want to stay in. And then the question comes up of who will succeed David Cameron after he resigns. So one possible candidate is Boris Johnson, the former mayor of London, who is a leader of the Leave campaign. Now, some interesting uh, statistics on the breakdown when you look area by area on the vote. So in England, which makes up 85% of the population of Britain, 53% of those in England chose to leave the European Union, whereas in Scotland, only 38% chose to leave, and in Northern Ireland, only 44% chose to leave. Now, Britain is the second largest economy uh, in the EU after Germany, and uh, many say that the main impact is going to be massive disorder in the EU system for the next two years. This is John. And thanks for watching.